Hello. No one wants to see a strawberry milkshake in his cooling system. In the case of engine oil mixing with coolant, you will have a mixture that looks like coffee with milk. But since the transmission fluid is red, a strawberry milkshake-like mixture indicates ATF mixing with coolant. How is it possible for those two to mix? The fluid from the automatic transmission is cooled by a small radiator inside the engine radiator. It circulates under pressure and when there is a leak, it will mix with coolant. When the engine is running, the ATF is under high pressure and the leaky internal radiator will pass the ATF into the coolant. But when we shut down the engine, the pressure drops abruptly. Unfortunately, hot coolant remains under pressure for several minutes and then can be pushed into the transmission. Coolant in automatic transmission will destroy its internals. A little bit over a year ago, I changed a cracked radiator. The car was not driven much due to the COVID lockdown. I thought it was too early for the radiator to fail. So I investigated what was going on. I filled it with water and introduced 110 psi to the ATF cooler inside. It was holding pressure, no bubbles. I assumed everything was fine. The only culprit I have found was a slightly loose entrance port. I tightened it and decided to give the fairly new radiator a second chance. Obviously, before installing it back, I had to get rid of the ATF from the cooling system. I had to flush it. Petroleum-based products like ATF in contact with rubber hoses will swell them and they will burst under pressure and overheat the engine. First, I drained the system and ran water from a garden hose. To reach all passages inside the engine, I removed the thermostat and put back the hose outlet and the hose. Tap water is not good for the engine and radiator. Minerals can build up and block the water passages, but also chew up aluminum parts. Before flushing the system with distilled water, I made this bypass for the ATF. This way I was able to start the engine, circulate distilled water through the cooling system, and make sure the ATF is not introduced into the system. During the procedure, the car was not driven, therefore the ATF didn't heat up. I washed and rinsed the overflow tank separately, as well as rubber hoses. Then I used dishwasher detergent dissolved in hot water. The idea is to use a detergent that will not produce foam. Topped it with distilled water and run the engine. To flush the heater core, controls to the max. Bled air from the system, squeezing hoses. The oil cooler ports are plugged during flash. Then I kept the engine running for a few minutes after the thermostat opened. Next, stopped the motor and waited a little bit before draining the radiator and the engine block. I did two flashes with dishwasher powder. Then I used simple green for the final detergent flash. Then I ran and drained pure distilled water through the system many times until it was clean. Swollen rubber out. Good rubber in. Filling the system with coolant. 
During the flush, I've noticed that for the 9.5 liter capacity, I drained only 6.2 liter from the system. Some water always remained inside. If I pour now 50-50 mixture, it would be diluted even more. Therefore, I fill it with 4.75 liters of pure coolant and top it off with distilled water. This way I have desired ratio of 50-50 mixture in the system. I flush the oil cooler as well to get rid of water that could be introduced into it during pressure testing. All the connections are back in place. And I mark the position of the ATF inlet. Everything was fine for three weeks until I pulled a trailer. Not much, about 25 miles. The milkshake was back. All this effort for nothing. What is going on? This fairly new radiator failed so fast. Why? I test it. It was holding pressure. Well, pressure is not the only thing there is. The temperature from hot ATF could expand the metal and voila, there was a leak. Terribly poor design. Let's crack it open and see. ATF cooler inside. Rubber gaskets failed. O-rings on those fittings didn't hold with the pressure and the temperature. What did I learn from it? Any leak detected? Dump it right away. Replace the radiator. And when you do, go with a quality product. What do we have here? I still have the box, Spectra Premium, made in China. Thank you, Spectra Premium, de Boucherville, Quebec. Merci, tabarnak. Quality replacement Nissans, made in Slovakia. More than double the price of Spectra Premium. So far, I was dealing with two other Nissans radiators. No problem. Before replacing the radiator, I must repeat the flash procedure and this time I will flash the transmission as well. Just in case, coolant got into the ATF. There is a video on my channel about automatic transmission flash. <laughs> 